for a fifth. All right, we hope you enjoy this one here from the arc. And we have an illegal tap. So we're going to try it again. Actually, we're not going to try it again. We're going to go to Northern Iowa. They'll get possession. I think he, the uh, Beacons tried to time the jump a little too aggressively. So Heisey will bring it across. And now a carry. So we've had a couple of violations early. So Cap, how about your keys to the game here? Well, let's take a look for both these teams. Uh, I came up with these as I was going through looking at some of the different things that are going to make one team successful tonight. For you and I, it's make the extra pass because they're a really good three-point shooting team. They can't give up easy baskets. Valparaiso's got to get a quick start. They need points early and then run when you get opportunities, but don't hurry. Caps keys the game, the presentation of SSM Health Physical Therapy, the official physical therapy partner of the Missouri Valley Conference and Arch Madness. Rion Taylor, and that ball tipped and knocked out of bounds. And with eight seconds to shoot, Valpo will inbound underneath their own basket. That one coming in on the inside. And now reading her with two to shoot back to the basket. He hoists. And that's way off the mark. That'll be a shot clock violation and a turnover to you and I. Really good perimeter defense out of the Panthers. Extend out, get a hand up, and make it very tough to get a clean look. That's why I say run, but don't hurry. Don't be out of control. But if you get opportunities, you got to push the tempo. And our starting lineup is brought to you by Grinnell Mutual Insurance Trust in tomorrow. And a notable absence there again, A.J. Green missing in the starting lineup for Northern Iowa. And get a hold inside. Everything's about freedom of movement, Andy, and if a cutter goes through that lane, which is what you saw, and you get a bump or a hold, they're gonna get caught every time. That'll come out to Carter. And now a three goes up and down. That's how we start as Bowen Bourne gets the first three. There you see the starters for Valparaiso. Reedinger, King, Kithier, Taylor, and Cricky. And Taylor, smooth as silk there from the left wing. Bang, knocked it down. Good job to go inside, out. Key to a good perimeter look is going inside, out, forcing that defense to move. 82 straight games with a three for Kevion Taylor. That's pretty impressive. Now Carter will spot up for three. And the rebound taken out of there by King. He's on the fly here for Valparaiso. Now Taylor behind the arc. We'll feed it to Cricky. Now they'll reset it here with 15. And a kick ball. The shot clock stays at 14. 3-3 three, three game early on. I've been in this arena. Uh, I probably have done 30 games in here. I remember watching Butler and Valpo, and they were hanging from the Raptors. In here. <laughs> this place gets loud. It does. Great building. And King connects. His first deuce. That'll put Valpo up 5-3. Carter, who has been instrumental in success for Northern Iowa, has the ball right now, banging inside. And nice soft touch. Get the game tied at five. Taylor once again with it. Cut off nicely there by Taiwan Pickford. Ball fake there, and now King. Shot clock to 10. Wide open underneath, and a missed layup. But Kithier gets his own rebound. He goes back up, reverse, and score, right. and a foul. Well, that's just a great job pounding the backboard. He misses the shot. He uses that rim, really, to protect himself, and then go back up and lay it in, hoop and the harm. But the offensive rebounds would set that whole thing up. You know, Matt Loddick talking this week about the fact that his team has not gotten off to very many good starts. Uh, you have to consider this a pretty good start. No question, and that was why that was one of the keys. 
You come in off a tough loss, you're struggling, you need some confidence. You gotta land the first blow. 8-5, Alpo. Uh, Pickford. Burrow down to Bourne at the top, eight to shoot. He'll hoist, and that's off the heel of the rim, and reading her right there for the rebound. Beacon's doing a really good job on ball pressure. Really good job early. Reading her. A non scholarship freshman starting at point. He'll put up a three. All right, will be saved in bounds by the Panthers. Carter, the big fella, bringing it up. Spinning and scoring and a foul. Watch this look. Really good job on the spin. There's the hit on the arm. Carter, very aggressive here early again. You know, you're missing one of your best players. If you're just tuning in, A.J. Green. Their leading scorer, their leading assist man, and a whale of a player is at home in the health and safety protocols. If you're watching, AJ, we wish you well, hope you feel well, uh, but that's a big loss for Ben Jacobson's club. It certainly is, and I like those sentiments as well. Hopefully AJ's feeling great and back out here as soon as possible. So the free throw good. And we're tied at eight. Reflection there. Now reading her. All the way in. Reverse layup is good. Boy, really good job to scissor through the defense. That's not an easy shot. That's high degree of difficulty, but a real good job off the bounce. Now Burrow and Austin Fife in for the first time. And he cuts to the basket, missed the layup. The defensive team, and then having to run the offense, we were always bent over. That back is a problem when you're getting up and down the court like he is. So Fife misfiring on the first. Matt Loddick's been forced into that case. Matt, a huge Cubs fan, loves to talk Chicago sports whenever we come up. <laughs> and you grew up on the North Shore. It's almost uh, your birthright, isn't it? Correct. Okay. So Austin Fife out of the score sheet. And the lead 10 to 9 for Valparaiso. Another freshman bringing the ball up. That is Darius. Delverio. This is where freshmen grow up, Andy, when they have to play point guard in this really good league against a really well coached and talented team. Taylor left open. Well, it went in and came back out, and here comes the Panthers on the run. Don't feed the big man. Here comes the double. Really good pass. Once again inside, and it's stolen away. And not able to really save it is Devero. I'll get his name right. It's Diavero. That's what his name is. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Valpo fans. So, really good job doubling the low post. Just watch how the double comes. You and I has to react even more quickly. See the double come. Boom! Ball's got to be gone. On the handoff to Bourne. Underneath with two on the shot clock and a steal and a shot clock violation. So it'll turn it over to Valparaiso. Yeah, not a great offensive possession for the Panthers. Outstanding ball pressure defensively again by the Beacons. Now Taylor. Off to Kithier and now Diavero will give it up. And here is Trevor Anderson for Again, playing off the ball tonight, as Cap just told you. Taylor with it, three on the way, and good. He was upset from the exact same spot the last time down the court that it was halfway down and popped out. He wanted that ball. He was looking for it. Bang. Right down the well. 13-9, Valparaiso the lead. All the way inside, nice little touch and a floater in there by Bourne. Quickly back come the Beacons. Anderson again to Kithier. 
The cutting man is Edwards, and a reverse layup is good, and a timeout call. Schools that are not Northern Iowa. It's right. Maryland Eastern Shore, no disrespect to them. Somebody like, can we practice against a lower team? Exactly. Oh, ben Jacobson's coming to town. So Cole Henry into the game for the first time. He has the ball right now. Bourne looking inside to Carter. Double team Another comes double. immediately. I love coaches that double the post. Force it inside, and then force it back outside. Seven to shoot. Quick movement here. And a three up and no good. High for that rebound underneath. And losing it was Titan Anderson. Back quickly comes Valpo. And the shot clock was not moving. So we have a stoppage. And that just cost Valparaiso a clean look at a three. And if you go back a few seconds, the shot had already come off the yeah, rim and, the and been rebounded. And then the shot clock horn went off. So I don't know if we have a, t a technical malfunction or a human error, but that was a problem. So Valparaiso now with 15 points. It took them 16 minutes to get 15 points in that ma matchup on January 5th. Edwards reversing his field. Kirky on the handoff. Diavero. And an overplay and a tip and a steal. And his hands there by Pickford. Really good double. Come from the weak side and help out. All the way in. Layup is good by Burrow. A tough shot. He had to take it up among a lot of arms, and he was able to power it through. Trey Burha with his first two. Another near steal. And a deflection right to Anderson. Flip it into that corner. Diavero right back out to Anderson. Spot up three. Good. Bang. He may turn to his coach at the end of this game. He hits a few more of those. You know what? Let those guys handle the point. <laughs> I'll just shoot from out here. I'm a shooting guard, coach. 18-13, Valpo by five. And Burrow feeling it. That one's off the mark. And Diavero flying up the floor here for Valpo. And now Anderson from the elbow, too strong. And Pickford back the other way. Pace starting to pick up a little bit. Near steal there. And now Henry back to the basket. Burhau trying to shake three of his defender. He'll launch a three off the front rim. And Edwards high for the rebound. Northern really want Iowa settling. Settling because of the defensive pressure on the perimeter. Settling for the first clean look. Coming off that screen now, Taylor. And that ball out of trophy. Back underway, 18-13, Valparaiso the lead. Northern Iowa struggling from behind the arc, just one of six, but four of five from everywhere else. But haven't gotten good looks from the perimeter. As he tried to dribble toward the painted area, now no, you're, you're a turnover. Four on the shot clock, Burha will hit from three. Boy, that's one Matt Loddick just pounded his hands you're like are you kidding me they've been outstanding defensively here the first 10 minutes nine and a half minutes and now a steal by the Panthers Heisey brings it up now Bourne pick for to Carter back to Bourne underneath the open man pick for over the layup and scores what a great pass the layup is the easy part. Pickford better send a thank you note. That was a <laughs> whale of a pass by Noah Carter. So Trey Woodyard is into the game for the first time, number 33 in white, and now reading her from three. And high with the rebound was Heisey. Trailer Carter. Heisey drew a double team there for a moment. And now, another one up and good by Burhau. But burhau has got it stuck on automatic. As much as they struggled early in the last couple possessions, they're getting better looks. 
Eight all run for Northern Iowa. And that ends that. Yeah. Uh, Kobe hold King. My, hold my soda pop. I can do that too. <laughs> Boom. Tied to 21. Bourne gets in and scores. A little track meet going here. Big time. Now Kithier. Anderson. Bad back and all. Crashing in. Shot blocked by Heisey. Goes back up and scores. That's Boy. determination right there. Well, that's staying with it and finding a way to get that ball up and in. And we stay tied. 23 apiece. And a steal. Anderson back into the front court here. Now Kobe King. That high right hand dribble. Fall away baseline shot missed. And Carter there for the rebound. And a foul coming up here on Kobe King. King picks up his first. Yeah, clear foul, kind of come over and help. And Burha does a good job knowing he put the ball on the deck and take it right into the contact. So a sideline inbounds or a baseline inbounds. So He'll come in now to Carter. 8.15 left to go in this first half. We're tied to 23. Good pace to this game. Carter lean in. Carter with seven early points. As we get the eight minute mark to go here in this first half. Kithier. Finds Woodyard. Right back to the big fella Kithier. Extra pass made to the corner. Now they'll bring it back up. Kithier had it knocked away and an offensive foul being called here on Kithier. I don't see a foul there. The dribbler has the right to his space. Now, if you're going to set a screen like that, different story. He was in control of the basketball. I thought that was, I didn't agree with that call. A little inside out action here, Heisey. They get it back, screen from Carter. And then into a double team. Herhau back to Carter, launching for three and hitting. Wow. They are banging shots with the shot clock dripping down toward five. No panic. Reading her with it. 13th time that Carter has gone to double figures. He has 10 after that three. 28-23 Northern Iowa. Again, it works into Kithier. And a near steal there by Pickford. Ball loose on the deck, being fought for. Still taken out of there now by Valpo, and the shot clock will expire. And it'll be a violation. So another turnover here for Valparaiso. If Valpo started to struggle here to get their offense initiated after coming out of the gates quickly. Yeah, they had that start that they needed. But you and I has had the answer. The shot they hit as the shot clock ran down from about 26 feet, that's a gut punch. Yep. Carter, Burhau, and Heisey open. That one falls off the mark. We'll try to push the pace a little bit again. Here are the Beacons with Edwards. King reverse layup is smooth and good. See how quick Northern Iowa gets the ball back into the front court. It's where Valparaiso cannot give up defensively. They've got to continue to pressure the way they did. Matt had him ready to go. Edwards trying to push the pace, left that short. Ball loose on the floor and last touch by Edwards out of bounds. It'll be Northern Iowa basketball. Yeah, he's looking at Kip Kissinger, the official, who has a great haircut and said, hey, wait a minute, I got fouled. I don't think he did, because if you take a look, there's a rule I talked to you about the last game yep. we did called the principle of verticality. Heisey 
has his hand straight up. He owns that space. I thought the offensive player created the contact. He's not renting that space, he owns it. He owns it in perpetuity. And Burrow missing that shot. And here is Aaron Gordon into the game for the first time for the Beacons. Aaron's brother, Eric Gordon, quite the NBA player. Diavero holding at the top now with 13 to shoot. Edwards left open, three, nope. And Kithier battling inside for the rebound. He managed to get it again, goes up strong, missed the shot, but a foul coming up. Good job banging the glass. He has given you a lot of effort here in the first half. He had an offensive rebound that led to a three-point play here. He just keeps working, man. That is just working, working, and outworking people. So Kithier at 60% on the year, missing the first. Fife will come back in, and Carter will sit. Fife kind of working his way back into shape here for Northern Iowa. Had some illness issues and little bumps and bruises. And one out of the two goes in for Kith here. Get him a bit of a breather. And ben Cricky will come back in. They need to get him going offensively. Kimmins, now to fight. And a steal. Edwards, a little hesitation dribble, and you'll fire it up, no good, but a foul. And that'll go against Titan Anderson, it'll be his first. Amy Bonner on the call. We talked to her before the game. Uh -huh. She's got an amazing personality. She's doing an imitation of Steve Wellmer, a good friend of mine who is a retired official. She's hilarious <laughs> and a really good official. Ricky up strong and hits. Ask and ye shall receive. Okay, I want a million dollars. I can't help you. Uh, darn it. Is that fight? We do, I'm taking it. <laughs> <laughs> Tempting fate. <laughs> and another steal. Diavero finds Edwards. He was thinking about the shot before he had it. And now they'll reset the offense. You're gonna get a hold on Anderson inside, I believe. You're correct. That's a tough matchup. Anderson, not really a physical player inside. Going up against Cricky, who's got a little height on him, a little experience, a little strength. It's a tough match. So you and I has gone cold almost the last three minutes. No, no scoring over 255. Valpo right back in it, tied at 28. Knifing his way through it and missing the layup. Everything looked good except the execution. And the final result. Kimmins all the way down. He'll use the rim and score. Northern Iowa's done a good job, Andy, attacking now and playing downhill. Valparaiso's got to take away dribble penetration. Gordon off right. And Coach the conference wins. Iba leads all time with 187. Dana Altman now at Oregon. Second with 182. Another two years max, and that record will fall. And number one on the list will be that guy, Ben Jacobson. And I can give you very few coaches this compliment. I'd let my son play for him. His quality of his program, that guy's awesome. And I'd say the same thing about Matt Loddick. I know Matt exceptionally well watching him grow up. Anderson back in, despite the back injury that's been plaguing him for the last couple of games. Keeps that dribble alive, now picks it up. Three on the clock. And that one dancing on every part of the rim, but would not go down for Edwards. So Kimmins will bring it back up here for the Panthers. 32-28, Northern Iowa with the lead as we approach halftime. Two minutes and 40 seconds left. And a steal. Edwards. We'll give it up. Anderson. Taylor wanted to pull the trigger. Instead, he goes in, lay it up, score, and a foul. Good decision. Good patience. You know who pressed me there? 
Anderson. He had an open look, but defenders coming at him. He said, no, 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 I can get a better shot for my team. Real unselfish play, and you end up with a three-point opportunity. So the foul charge to Heisey is first. And one free throw coming here. Kevion Taylor. Grad student from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, is good on the three-point opportunity. And earlier today, he got his 82nd consecutive game with a three-pointer. One-point game. Carter, a threat from there, but we'll try to take it in. And a long range three at the shot clock horn. No good. And again, the horn goes off after the ball hit the rim. I know, something's off there. And now Taylor splashes down the three. Well, he's been looking for that shot on the angle because he hit a couple of them. Now he goes to the corner, defender loses him, and he buries it. Tenth game of double figures for Taylor. He has 12. And now Carter tries to answer. That's way off the mark. Anderson, nice little juggling act to keep that ball in bounds. Now tries to attack and a carry. So 122 left to play here in this half. It'll be Northern Iowa basketball. From three, Valpo, a 56% start here tonight. UNI, 31%. Turnovers Up have been down to 33. Turnovers have been costly, too, for Valpo. Eight of them have turned into 15 points for Northern Iowa. As we approach one minute to go here in this first half. Burhau. Carter lining up the three and splashing that one down. Another one deep in the shot clock. 13 for Carter. Guys are not shy today. No. Under a minute. Diavero feeds Taylor. They try to work it into Cricky. He was double team. Steal. About a four second different shot clock to game. So Bourne, who was nicked up a little bit earlier, back in there, now handling the ball. We'll get it back from Carter. Shot clock to 10. Crossed him over. Carter open. Now decides to dive all the way in, leave inside, and a flush right at the horn. And here we go. And that one deflected out of bounds. I just don't think he was expecting the pass, and it's coming out of the timeout. Matt was not happy. Late substitutions here uh, for both sides. You take Cricky out, you can't take a chance on one of your best scores picking up a cheapie here with 3.4 left. If I'm you and I, I'm taking it right to the rack. And then if I got someone spotted up, I can kick it out. Heisey across. What a Dump pass. Dump inside the five, lays it up right at the horn, and that's how the first half is going to. Man up. That's the way the mentality has to be. It's cliche, but it's absolutely correct and true. So Valparaiso with the ball here first. Again, they'll try to work it inside. Kithier, a nice little move there for the basket. And that's how the second half gets underway. Working it inside to Kithier, who now has seven points in the game. Three point. Northern Iowa lead with the ball. Heisey. Now to Carter, showed some range tonight. Back inside to Carter, draws the double team. Still looking to find some help, got inside to pick. That ball was just cleanly blocked. Boy, really good job by Kithier. And at the other end, King cannot convert. And here come the Panthers on the fly. Bourne, Pickford, they'll work it back out. Heisey faked the three. Carter will take the three and splash down. Inside, out. 
inside out. You get such better looks from the perimeter when you attack, make the defenders shift, and then go back to the stripe. And then Carter did a great job. Feet set, shoulders over toes, bang. Six point game. And now, Hittier will answer from the other end. The big fellas are saying, hey, don't leave us out of this three point contest. So with that bucket for Carter, 16 points. He has now 15 or more points in every Missouri Valley Conference game he's played this year. That's consistency for you. Now Bourne had it stripped and stolen away. A nice little move there by Taylor. Working it inside now, Kithier. Almost turned it over. 14 to shoot. And now Taylor, three. Man, Splash. guys are lighting it up. Jeez. It's like a magnet on the ball, huh? That is so much fun to watch with guys getting rhythm and just keep banging shots. Now Bourne tries to attack, pulls up, and hits. Boy, littlest guy on the court hanging in the air and finding a way to drive it home. Nine points for Bourne. 44-42, Northern Iowa. Kithier missed. Bothered by Carter. And now Bourne will bring it back up for the Panthers. And now Bourne will stroke a three short. See Valparaiso's trying to attack and move it up the court quickly. But you got to get a good shot. Got to get the right shot. Taylor was feeling it a little bit there, maybe. Talk about feeling it. Carter is pounding his chest. He feels it. Smile for the bench. And give you a nice move inside. You can see that Matt Loddick talked to his guys. Get it up the court and attack. But that doesn't mean when I said to you, run, don't hurry. Right. Get it up the court. If you get a good shot, take it. Like that one from Heisey. Bang from the corner. Dribble, kick. Dribble, kick. Ben Jacobson imploring his guys to get a stop. Diavero. Kethier open. And high for the rebound is Heisey. He'll bring it back up to Carter. Carter, one more time. Nope, not that time. That was a heat check. That was a heat check. <laughs> <laughs> so King to Cricky. Now to Kithier. Diavero whips it to the open man. That's King. I would think Cricky takes him and tries to score over him. And he does. High Archer was a beautiful shot right there by Cricky. You can just read that. That's when you might want to send a double. He was thinking all the way. I've got an advantage here. I'm taking this one to the basket. As he had designs on taking that three. Point lead. And uh, neither team has really cooled off uh, coming here in the second half. The sight lines of shooting are very good in this, in this gym. You know, the municipal type arenas, the 15 to 25,000 seat arenas, players have told me there's no depth perception. Right. If it's your home arena and you practice in there, you get used to it. But when the road team comes in, there's nothing blocking foul coming up. There's nothing really that makes you comfortable as a shooter. But in a little building like this, yeah. you can get on a roll and get it stuck on automatic, and that's what we're seeing. So the foul to Titan Anderson. And that will put Kithier to the free throw line. He is two of three from the stripe tonight. I got in town today at 12.45. Yes, you did. I got off the radio after my show this morning, got in the car, and I said, you know what? I'm just driving right down here. I just love doing this. <laughs> got to see some sights, have some food. Had a little food. Contribute to the local economy. That's right. I had a little Chipotle salad, got some gas, and did my work, got ready for the game. I'm like, 
Nothing like the vibe being around a college Oh, yeah. I'll be doing that on my way home. Fife had that deflected and stolen. Edwards, pull up, three, nope. That's not a bad shot. You have defend or, uh, rebounders going to the rim. 10, 20 years ago, coach would be like, no, 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 don't shoot that on the brick. Now, don't shoot the mid-range. Take the three or the layup. Carter wants the ball. Eight on the shot clock. Carter will pull up another three on the way and another three down. Wow, he just turned to Kithier and he went, sorry, <laughs> man. He gave the Michael Jordan shrug. Yes. <laughs> I mean, like, wow. New season high for Carter, 22 points. 53-48, Northern Iowa inside and a reverse spinning layup there by Taylor. Is no good, but a foul coming up here. Really good pass. Really outstanding on the money pass. That was Sheldon Edwards with a dime. And it's Austin Fife who picks up the foul, his first. You know, as I looked at the teams that have now joined the Missouri Valley and what it comprises in this league, quality basketball. Oh, yeah. I mean, every night you're going to have your hands full. Holy smokes. Yeah, there's no nights off. No. Hey, guys, we're on a two-game trip. We're going to go to Murray State and then on to Belmont. Oh, Back your lunch. Better be ready to play. <laughs> Post up, TK. Timmons into the front court here for Northern Iowa. Now Verhal. Carter with the screen. And he'll touch. Carter wants it back. Five to shoot. Backing his way in. Spin, a little finger roll off glass and down. There's nowhere on the floor he hasn't connected tonight. Yeah, he's got it stuck on automatic. I mean, he is aggressively trying to score. It's get me the ball, and I am going to make a move and figure out what I can do with it. Offensive foul on Kithier. He was open underneath and then decided to pass it off. And he commits the foul. That, I'd love to see that one more time. Did the defender get set after he left the ground, the offensive player? Once you leave the ground, you can't slide into his space. But if he's still in contact with the ground, that's a good call. Fife with it now with eight seconds to shoot. And a foul coming up. Watch this again. Now, when he leaves the ground, it's close. It's very close. It's very, very close. He's clearly out of the restricted area, that half circle. I thought Jerry Pollard probably got the call right. We're out of Carter. Come on, Kev. Switch it. saw a seam. Fight. Two to shoot. Now with one. That ball partially deflected. And taken out of there by Valpo. Here come the beacons. Good cut. Easy layup. Good deuce. We got a whale of a ball game. Really good patience. Edwards thought about it. Nope. Kick, corner, cutter, lay in. Fife will pick up that dribble, not a Carter. Step back three. Not again. Unconscious. My goodness. My goodness. I would tell you this. Matt Loddick's going to challenge his guy. Who wants it? Which one of you is going to guard him? Because right now, we're not doing a good enough job. 27 for Carter. That one no good, and Carter with a rebound. He's doing it all. And he has got a bounce in his step. He's going up again. Another heat check. <laughs> he's even smiling going up. I mean, he can't complain about the shot, especially as he's been hitting everything. And he's pulled out his sixth rebound as well. Anderson. 
They're looking for Carter. And now Anderson matched up on him underneath. A bad back and all. Here comes the double. Good job. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. And Burhau will fire and hit at the horn as well. Goodness. How many of he plays the game with passion, personality? Like if I was given the task of having to guard him, I don't mean my overweight body. I'm talking about <laughs> like if I was hit in, in this game, you take it as a personal affront if he keeps knocking these shots down. And King high for the rebound over the defender, Heisey. Anderson has to pick it up. They had Cricky on a seal inside. He wants the ball to the corner and then in. Anderson, one on the clock, Cricky at the horn, nope. And who else, Carter, the yeah. rebound. They had a shot in the paint, Andy, and they elected to go outside again. Gotta get a couple easy baskets, loosen things up. Danger time, you're nine down. Now, Heisey will take it. Carter slipped for a moment, but was able to capture it with seven to shoot. It's usually when he hits. Tried to squirt that pass underneath, and a shot at the horn. And it's MP, a shot clock violation. 44 to play here in the second half. Valparaiso needs a couple of easy baskets. Just take the two, take the layup. If you can get it, attack, attack, and then you got to lock in defensively. And Cricky for three, no good. Foul coming up underneath. Let's see who they get who here. They it's get. a rebounding foul on the push. I think it's going to be, did they get Bowen Bourne? I think they got Bourne, yes. So baseline inbounds here for the Valparaiso Beacons. All the way in, layup missed, but foul coming up. We call those manufactured points. Baseline out of bounds play. Real good job by Anderson, run the curl move, and then attack, and here comes the defender just a click late. So here is Anderson, first free throw good. He's been gutting it out as Trevor Anderson. Yeah, we watched him in halftime warm-ups wearing like a George Jetson <laughs> space thing around his waist. I don't know if we have any video of it, but it was all lit up and packed, and it was a stim machine to keep his back loose. I mean, you talk about guys doing whatever it takes to get out there. A little pass inside, slipping down was Burhau. Never got a good shot off. Hand off to Anderson. Now King through the double team. Anderson trying to fight his way inside and scores. Hot shot. Again, playing off the ball tonight, which is not normally what he does because of his back being tight. And a miss by Burhau, and a chance again for Valpo to get a little closer here, down by five. All the way in, and a basket for Kenyon Taylor. That's 19 for him. Again, if you're at home watching the game, well, where's A.J. Green? He is in the health and safety protocols. He's not with the team. We wish him all the best that he can get back quickly. New season high, by the way, for Kevion Taylor with 19. Going for the steal was Anderson. Now Heisey with a long three, and it missed. Riedinger the rebound. Eight minutes to play. Riedinger left open, three ball, no good. And the long rebound tracked down. You take that shot all day long, wide open, good shot. Opportunity, three point game, and Valparaiso. Athletically and academically. By the way, I listened to the Josh Betts podcast, Betts Sports Beat podcast. I get all my Northern Iowa intel from Josh. He's watching the game tonight, covering it. And that one out of bounds, and it'll stay 
with Northern Iowa. Panthers started out the half six of nine. They are now two of seven since. It's been a few minutes since the basket has been uh, dented by Northern Iowa. Three minutes and 20 seconds. And a near steal. And souvenir in the front row. A large body coming your way. Yeah, Kithier tried to save that when it actually hit Amy Bonner, the official, and then ended up out of bounds. But he did a really good job with the hustle, but you can see the right foot was on the sideline. Now Bourne will bring it up. Kithier stands right with him. Bourne forcing the issue, though, and left it short. Yeah, that's a bad matchup. Bourne against Kithier. It's going to be a tough matchup inside, size-wise. Alpha on a 6-0 run. Three-point game. Fifth year. Try to use glass, a little too strong. Burhau to Carter, rolling in, layup, no good. Block. Oh, coming up, blocking foul. Matt Loddick doesn't like the call. He's got that crestfallen look on his face. A big slap of the hands. Close. Yeah. Very, very close. Carter trying to add to a monster night. 27 points, eight rebounds, four assists. A rare miss. Trying to pick up that scoring slack with A.J. Green not here tonight. You do it. You do it. Out. And one of two. That ties his career high with 28 points. Foul on Carter. Yep, but that's one of the freedom of movement fouls. So there was contact coming through the lane. You know, again, we talked about it earlier. Ben Jacobson, another year and a half or so, is going to be the all time winningest coach in the history of this great conference. And you think of the names that have come through here from Nolan Richardson to Henry Iba to Dick Versace to Bob Donawald and a bunch of others. That's pretty impressive. Dana Altman, he's right in front of him, and then Iba, and then he'll be number one when he passes those two. Right now, a concern about it being a two point game. Heisey looking to attack. A little finger roll left short. And here come the Beacons. Chance to take the lead on a long one. Taylor, bang. Inside six minutes and Valparaiso has the lead. They were down 61-52. They go on a 12-1 run. Now Burhau, he answers. Wow. <laughs> I wasn't insinuating anything. But sure. They used to have hair to my shoulders. <laughs> and I liked it. I did too. It's a good look. I'm just trying to picture it right now. King got caught up there, and now Taylor. That's no good, and the rebound banks into the hands of Carter. Taylor was feeling it a little bit there as well. Taylor's been the man of the hour. He's going up. Heisey will look to attack. That'll bring it back out with 10 to shoot. Carter wants that ball. And he fights one up, and it doesn't go. One of the rare occasions where it hasn't fallen for him. Anderson in, missed. Foul coming up. Chance to tie it up at 447. Good aggressive play by Anderson, who's obviously limited on what he can do because of that back. And if you just joined us at halftime, he had a stim machine as he warmed up. Wrapped around his back with the George Jetson lights on the back of it from the Jetsons. And there he is, ready to go. He was calling for Rosie. Yes. 
That's the little robot. The housekeeper, yes. Yeah. So Anderson hits the first. What was the daughter's name? Oh, that was Judy. Daughter Judy. Jane was his wife. Jane, his wife. His boy, Elroy. Okay, correct. And a dog? I can't remember the dog's name. Oh, come on. Do you know? Astro. That's right, Astro. <laughs> More Jetsons than you ever wanted to know about, but you're going to get it anyway. That's it. Love that show. <laughs> Working Spacely Sprockets, too. Spacely Sprockets. All right, I'm done. Get up. For the moment. Now Heise. And Anderson there for the rebound. And Cricky a little slow to rejoin the action as well. Actually, I'm sorry, that's Kithier. And Anderson strokes one and hits the three. Bang. He makes the three sign, holds up the three fingers. And all of a sudden, Valpo starts to smell a big upset. What a gutty performance here by Anderson. I know, I know, D, I know. Carter, one on one against Kithier. Poked away. Ten to shoot. Carter looked at the clock, and now Burha will fire that short. Out of bounds. Too out. much standing rebounds. Looking on a, working on a double double. If you yep. can grab one more carom. And don't forget about Trevor Anderson with 22 points in the game tonight for Valparaiso with that bad back and everything. He's got the ball right now. Gave Anderson a few more points than he already deserved. He's 16. He's working his way toward that. He is. He's playing really well with a guy with a back injury. The ball knocked out of bounds by Taylor. You know, there are certain guys at certain programs that just kind of personify it a little bit, and he's one of them. He's definitely okay. one of them. Reading a great book called Grit. He would pass the grit test. Grit's not about your ability. It's about your want to. Foul reach in there on Diavero is first. Highly recommended. In fact, Pete Carroll uses the grit test that's in the book on anyone he drafts or acquires or signs. He wants to know what their makeup is like. Kithier will pick up the foul, his third. Hey, stay play. Come, come Still up, not Kev. the bonus. Push it out, CK. Coming up, Kev. That is five team fouls on Valpo. Two fifty-one to go. And now Carter one more time. Missed that one. Go down. Almost three go minutes down. without a bucket here for Northern Iowa. And Kidder lost it. Born back the other way. Finds Carter. Born in the paint, push shot there, no good. Ahead of the pack is King. Spins inside, got it to fall. Five point game, and now you start, as you drip toward under two minutes, you start to feel it, guys. Dig deep, and we got to clamp down and no fouls. Do not give up an easy one inside. Three from the corner, no good. Hold down, hold down, hold down, hold down. You can hear close out. Anderson. See you, King trying to force it inside. Fall away. Rolls in. Timeout, Ben Jacobson, and they need it. And they're not too distant past. You don't have to settle for a three here. Get the best shot you can get. Attack the basket. Forced it into Carter. Nice catch. And a foul on Taylor. 
That's their sixth. So the next one you'll be shooting. Isaiah will float it out. Carter. Bank shot, and good one. foul coming up as well. See, that's why I tell you, take the ball inside. Don't settle for the three. The three is not the panacea for everything that ails you. All of a sudden, you got a three-point opportunity here. 30 for Carter. And certainly playing inspired. Is Northern Iowa getting close to that average in their conference games? A little full court pressure here, 72 68. Now for the lead as we hit one minute to play here in the second half. Do not need to foul. You've got 16 on the shot clock. Play solid man to man defense, and there's the steal. Carter got hacked. We're on a collision course for that right now. Love calling close games. It's a lot of fun. So Carter got the first. I only have 30 points on my list here, so I have to go into the, uh, the margins of my score sheet here. Oh, didn't believe in anybody getting more than that, huh? Well, that shows me, right? 33 for Noah Carter. Two-point game with 50 seconds. Theodoro will get it across. Nope, still shy. Got it across now with a pass. Now Taylor. Shot clock's down to 14, so you do not have to foul here if you're Northern Iowa. I would attack. Attack, attack, attack. King, attack, attack, attack. Missed a shot. Rebound loose. Taken by Northern Iowa. No shot clock, and Carter is. Game, possession, your best score. Score at home, your second best score just went out with an injury. What do you say? Next man up. That's it. It might be Heisey. Inside, left it short, got it back, rebound, good, and we're tied at 72. You do not want a timeout here. Don't let the defense relax. Steal. Ball to the deck, and we're going. And some in overtime. Yep, eh, we're in overtime. Ball up. Tapped at center, and it's controlled by Northern Iowa. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors, we got overtime. Heisey crashing in, missed a shot, foul coming up. That'll go on Cricky. So overtime is like you going to a great meal with your wife, mm -hmm. and then Mater D comes over and goes, Mr. Mazer, I'm a big fan. I'm gonna buy your dessert. That's what overtime is. Oh, yeah. Like getting a free dessert. Some apple cobbler, maybe a little bit of ice cream on it. There you go, a little caramel sauce. Oh. <laughs> Isaac good on the first. I'm gonna have to make a stop on the way home now. There's a Culver's right out here, yeah, Andy. All right, I'm in. Your name on it. <laughs> I'm in. My wife packed my little snack bag. I've got a <laughs> delicious apple and a keto bar. Uh, my fiance did the same, and I've got a great Protein power bars. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we have a little stoppage here as our official Jerry Pollard at the scorer's table right now. And I believe it's a clock issue. And now we're good. All right, 74-72 Northern Iowa. We're here in overtime. 10 seconds gone by. Taylor. Banging inside. Stolen away. Born ahead of the pack. And now CZ doesn't have numbers. And will slow it down. Fight. Now Born inside. And that missed. Got a foul coming up. Yeah, they'll get Cricky on the foul. Valpo's got to get going now. Good job by Northern Iowa, man. Ben Jacobson, there's just no quitting those guys. Seven down, a lot of teams are hanging their head. We're on the road, we're going to lose. 
they find a way to come back. And now they lead by two and a chance to double that. And Bourne connects. Edwards in for Diavero. Big play in that seven point run was not settling for a three, getting the ball to Noah Carter, and he got a three point play inside. All of a sudden, we can do this. Yeah. Get a steal, a basket, get a stop, a basket, and they're tied. Four point game, near steal there by Pickford. And that baseline jumper goes down for Edwards. Much needed basket. Just his fourth point of the game, but huge right there. Two point game, 76-74 Northern Iowa. 3.50 to go in the overtime. Born. Inside, Fife. Bang it in there, a little hook shot goes. Boy, really good footwork. Got it real good depth in the paint, and then his footwork was excellent. Northern Iowa by four with 3.24 to go in the overtime. Anderson. Five to shoot. Edwards, he'll back it out. Rainbows it in. What humongous three. And we're back to a one point game. We may be here all night, I don't care. Yeah. I got nothing going. Here's Heisey. Down the lane on Edwards. Crashing in, left it short. Edwards takes it away. And now Valpo a chance to take the lead this trip down the floor. Edwards all the way in. Shot partially blocked. Cricky flies in to save the possession. Edwards is feeling it. That's short. Yeah, that, wasn't the shot. that wasn't the shot you want there. Re-rack, reset, take a breath. You want to go through it because you got to get ready for practice tomorrow. Yeah. When you lose these games, man, that bus rides forever. You win, you blink and you're home. Stolen away. And Valpo again, a chance to take a lead as we approach two minutes to go on the OT. Cricky. Now Anderson back to Cricky. Move it the other way. Taylor with the seam inside. Now Edwards. Short rebound by Cricky and a putback. Great stick back. He watched that shot come up. He knew it was coming short. Didn't relax and went and ripped that ball down. 79-78, Valpo. 125 to go in the OT. Heisey spinning inside, does not get the roll. And Taylor takes it down. Here in the background, the assistant coach is telling Matt Lonick he's got three timeouts should he choose to use one here. They feel like they're out of sorts. But now King, point blank, gets it to fall. That was a really good decision. And Bryce had a nice career here as a player and as a head coach. And Scott won a national championship. Basketball in the blood. Near steal. Four. Holds with 13. Pickford attacking. High arcing shot, no good, but a rebound followed by Fife. And now we've got another Northern Iowa player down. Shot a game clock different by 4.2 seconds. Anderson will get it in. Still in the backcourt and a reach in foul on Bourne. Third on board. And that is 17 foul, so it's one and one. 
Diavero has yet to score in the game. And missed. Carter at the scorer's table. Now Fife. Kimmins. Kick out. Heisey turn around. No. Rebound loose. Go, ben. Diavero. Well floated out. A tough catch by Cricky in the back corner. He is wrapped up and fouled by Bourne. Gave yourself a chance at a steal. And now you got to make free throws. So it stays one and one. That's the eighth team foul. You knock down both. It takes a three. And the way I was taught, once you get under 10 seconds, you got to take the three. More than 10, attack the rim, maybe get the old fashioned three point right. play, get the two foul, and make them make the free throws again. So Noah Carter back into the game. That's good to see for Northern Iowa. And perfect by Cricky. Two point game. Heck of a game, man. Entertaining. A lot of intrigue. A lot of back and forth. Just what you want. He just guaranteed. I guess you never have a guarantee because <laughs> I saw a four point play by Tom Kleinschmidt down four. Don't lead him, Colby. Here comes Bourne. Three from the corner, no good, and the rebound is taken by Anderson. 